Hey guys, and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. In addition to the great fun and fellowship I had at the South Carolina Modelers Association's winter show, I also had some time to do a little shopping. Stick around, we'll take a look at the new stash ads. Hey guys, up front I want to give a quick shout out to a new friend, Tony Roberts from Nashville, Tennessee. He was one of the vendors at the show this past weekend and we had an awesome time of fellowship and, and just talking racing and all kinds of goodies, but he's had something set aside for me and uh, I can't thank you enough, Tony. Um, I got a kick out of this. Um, first up, he, he gave me a uh, 25th STP anniversary die cast one of the uh, 64th scale and buddy this is going to go in my collection of 64th scale petty cars and thank you thank you thank you i appreciate that so very much the other thing he gave me for the workbench was this richard head you know what let's take this out uh a richard petty bobblehead uh so who better to supervise uh anything i do on the workbench than the king himself so tony thank you again uh, I got a kick out of this, so I'm, I'm going to be having the king watching over uh, everything I'm doing on the workbench here. You'll probably be seeing him in uh, many of the videos upcoming now, too. Um, but uh, that was just awesome. So again, Tony, thank you so very much. I really appreciate the thought and uh, the time Saturday that uh, we had together. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and put the king right over here right now. And uh, a couple other things I picked up. Uh, one of the vendors, Bill Vaughn, had some uh, vintage patches. And I've got a pretty good collection of vintage um, racing patches. I'm going to make me a, a coat or a, a shirt like Lucas C. has with all of them sewn on it. But uh, really, really cool stuff. Um, and uh, I, like I said, I'll put that in my, my stash of patches. And decals. I was looking around through decals for just anything unusual. And um, David Birch had these, which if you look at the finish and the, the metallic finish in the gold on the CV uh, Enterprises, this thing, these, these are some great decals. And these, of course, are for David Pearson 72, uh, number 33 GTO. And I've been thinking about doing that for a while, but but eh, I'm going to have to modify some body work and all that stuff, which to me, that's kind of fun. But uh, I got so many projects in my mind, just getting to them is the thing. And I'm sure you guys know nothing about but having any problems like that, right? Uh, David also had these Roy Hill duster decals. And, you know, in, in the video on the drag racing cars I was doing, the duster was among the things I was going to do. And... Uh, I did not know he had these, but these are just the red. They're not vermilion or the, the uh, day glow, but uh, I thought, you know, these would be perfect. I'll make a photocopy of these, transfer it over to the tape, and I, there I'll have my uh, mask for masking the cars, but I thought these were just absolutely fantastic, so uh, thank you, David, for those, too. Um, also, at the show, uh, you know, we did a video a while back on... Uh, Plastic Performance Products, awesome wheels and tires. Well, David Hawkins also does really obscure and unusual decals for a lot of cars. Well, this set, and I'm going to take these out so we don't get the glare there off the... Well, I thought I was going to take them out. There we go. Um, and there's so much stuff on there, there's an additional piece to the sheet here. But you've got the 427s, 429s, and these are from uh, 1967 Wood Brothers cars, 67 to 70. And there's pictures of all the variations, the sponsors, and that kind of stuff all the way through. Absolutely great set of decals. You use your 21s, but about any configuration of the car you wanted want to do, you can do. Also, he added, uh, you notice the uh, taillight cover plates as well as, and of course these are for the Polar Light Cyclone, the grill and the uh, headlight covers. Really good stuff here. But you've got the, for the numbers 21 and 41, and I think it was uh, AJ Forth that drove the 41. 
but I didn't realize, I mean, I knew Donnie Allison, A.J. Foyt, and Cale Yarborough, uh, Parnelli Jones, Fred Lorenz that had driven it, but I didn't know that Dan Gurney, uh, and I may have that backwards, but with Parnelli Jones, and Swede Savage were also drivers, but uh, in your research pictures, that's something else David does, is he backs it up with some great pictures of the cars. Um, but a lot of configurations here, and in my upcoming video on uh, the stock car, you know, we covered in the video about or the drag cars. I'm going to do one, um, probably the next video, on the stock cars I plan on trying to get done this year. And this was one of the three I want to try to squeeze in uh, among those. Now, whether that gets done or not, I don't know. But now I've got decals to do uh, several... I've got more choices. Let's put it that way. I was thinking of the Kale Yarbrough version, and I still probably will sway that way. But uh, really, really great stuff. Uh, thank you, David, for coming out with these. I uh, couldn't resist. Couldn't resist. So thank you, buddy. Another thing I got, you know, Matthew over at uh, Model Car Videos has his thing about uh, 48 Fords. Well, the old, old monogram green hornet is mine uh i pick these up every now and then i was trying to see the date on this one this last reissue i know it's on here somewhere well actually i don't see it anywhere um i think this was probably one of the later issues anyway oh, da, 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 da. yeah this one's 2003 um, but anyway, I have the, the reason this is the one for me is when I was six years old and we won't talk about how many decades ago that's been, this was the very first model that I ever, ever built. My dad had one and I wanted my own. So, um, he got me one and you know, I look back on this now and it's such a simplified, just super, it's really not that great a kid. <laughs> <laughs> but it holds such great memories for me. And uh, I think I've got like, with this one, I think I've got about four of them now. And I was thinking about doing one kind of out of box. Uh, and then if if that's possible for me. And then going back and, and hopping it up with the stuff, uh, with all of the, the goodies that we have today, whether it's photo etch, spun aluminum, whatever, and uh, dressing one up. But I, this is just one of those cars that just means, has a lot of sentimental value to me. So uh, had to pick up another one. Great car. Uh, and then um, the other one I got, I was going through some stuff, and, and I've always been fascinated with the, the turbines. And again, we're, I'm going to talk about Matthew again. He just did the uh, Chrysler turbine car. But bef before I even saw that video Saturday, I always loved this. And at Petty Enterprises, as you see in these pictures here, they've had them on display in the museum on and off, different cars. So you see different uh different ones here but what a unique car and i asked the guy about this one uh because it was marked like 20 bucks and he said well the lawnmower's not in it and i thought well i've got the lawnmowers and in, in um in out of another kit one someone gave me and so that wasn't a big deal but i always thought it would be unique to do one of these turbine cars research the engine see how you could uh, detail it and uh as I opened it and the guy and I were talking, the decals, by the way, are in outstanding shape. Um, and I'll throw this in real quick. Uh, the decals really look good. But when I walked over and was talking to Bill Vaughn, who I got the patches from, uh, again later, he had um, a set of the old Fred Caddy decals for that. And he insisted that I have those for that kit. So, uh, Bill, thank you for those, too. So, uh, I've got some extras there for the kit. But here's the real treat. Um, I'm, I'm digging in here to make sure all the parts are here. And and, uh, and I told the guy, I said, look, you realize there's another kit in there? He said, yeah, whatever. So, in addition to the, uh, the turbine car, which all the parts are here, I also got a little bonus. I'm going to stick it in the freezer, see if I can pop this thing apart. And uh, the uh, rear suspension and the, the rear clip, all that stuff is in the bag with it. So uh, I may try to do something kind of cool with this thing too. But um, just a cool little, cool little IndyCar. 
Um, but I had a great time with the vendors too. There was other things that from filming the show and all that stuff, I probably didn't get to see everybody, but I did pick up a bunch of business cards. And by the way, as I was saying about David Hawkins, um, with plastic performance products, you know, I did that video a while back, as I said about the, um, uh, um, and you see here is his card, um, plastic performance products and go back to that video and, uh, I'll try to put a link to it, um, with this video, but if you haven't seen it, as far as the, the products go, it's something. And in addition to that, and there's a list of the, um, the tires and wheels and all that kind of stuff, the roll cage, all that. But he's got decals that are some of the most, some of them are obscure. Um, there's some that I've never seen before. Just really, really cool and high quality decals too. So check out David. Um, guys, thank you so very much for tagging along with this. As you can tell, I'm excited about uh, these things. And uh, I actually look forward to researching, just the research on the engine of this thing alone. Uh, hey guys, thanks again so much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscription button. Hit the notification bell, that way you don't miss out on any upcoming content. Leave us a thumbs up and definitely leave us a comment. I enjoy reading them. Well guys, until next time, God bless and we'll see you in the next video.